Hello. In this Java tutorial, we're going to cover the error array index out of bounds exception. Before watching this video, you're going to want to have a general understanding of arrays in Java. To learn more about that topic, please click on the video link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. The three topics we're going to cover in this video are what does an array look like? What does this error mean? And tips to fix this error. So we'll start by declaring and initializing an array. Here we're declaring an array of ints, calling the reference variable ARR, and then initializing it to an array of size 4. So we've got our ARR variable on the stack, and it's pointing to our array object on the heap. It's important to remember, like in most languages, arrays in Java are zero indexed. That means an array of size 4 will have the indexes 0, 1, 2, and 3. If we try to access an index below 0, or in this case above 3, we're going to get an array index out of bounds exception. Let's take a look at this code for traversing an array, because often we have this problem when we traverse an array. If you'd like to learn all the ins and outs of traversing an array in Java, click on the video link in the upper right hand corner of the screen. So what we're doing here is we've got a for loop. We start off our counter int i at 0. We're going to continue as long as i is less than arr.length. So in this case, arr.length is 4. It must be less than 4 because an index of 4 will go out of bounds. The i++ will increase the value of i by 1 each time we complete the loop. And every time we go through the loop, we're simply going to print out the value at arr index i. Now let's look at a common problem people have when writing this code. People sometimes write less than or equal to, which means i will get all the way up to 4, which will give us an array index out of bounds exception. So you want to make sure i never gets too high or too low. It's possible i could get too low if you started at negative 1 or you started at the end of the array and went to the beginning. Let's go back to the correct code. Now I'm going to show you another problem you can have while traversing an array. This code's a little more complicated. We still have the for loop, just as it was before, but in this case we're looking behind the counter variable and we're looking ahead of the counter variable. This is simply checking to see if the value behind the current counter is greater than the value ahead of the current counter. If it is, it'll print true. If not, it'll print false. Since we are looking behind the current value of i, we can't start i at 0, because 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Then we'll get an error index out of bounds on this end. So we're going to start by i equals 1. Now, here we're looking ahead. So we can't go all the way up to 3, because 3 plus 1 is 4, which will again will give us an array index out of bounds on this end. So here we're going to say i is less than array.length minus 1. Let's take a look at another way to traverse an array. This is using a for each loop. Now for each loops don't require a counter. We have a temporary variable that's the same data type as whatever it is that it's an array of. And then we have a colon and the array variable itself. So the first time through, temp is going to equal 5, second time 2, third time 7, and fourth time 2. This will print out the value of temp, so we're going to print out 5, 2, 7, 2. People often forget that we don't have to worry about indexes, so they write it like this. So let's see what this is going to do. It's going to pull out the array index temp. Well, the first time through, the value of temp is 5, so we're trying to print out what's in array index 5. There is no array index 5, so we're going to get the array index out of bounds exception. So whenever you're using a for each loop, remember, you don't have to deal with indexes. You just pull out the values into your temp variable. So those are the most common ways you can get an array index out of bounds exception and how to fix them. If you found this video useful, please click like and leave me a comment. To see all the Java tutorials in this course, please click on the playlist in the lower right hand corner of the screen. And don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up to date on all the latest content from this channel.